cold bones Yeah, that's my love She hides away Like a ghost In the car, fresh trim, we're just about to set off. Uh, we're going to be staying somewhere called the Hullies. It's between Scarborough and Whitby. Um, it's basically just a campsite. Um, £12, I think it was, or £17 uh, for the night. Just pulled up at the Hullies. Um, I'm keeping it quiet because there's kids around and stuff. But look, perfect pitch, I'd say. Right next to the table. I'm going to get some food on coast just over there which I'm going to have a trek down to in a little while and uh, get the drone up This is tonight's pitch Let's get this tent up paid on pitch up um, no one's been round yet actually to see if I've actually paid or anything so see how that goes um, but yeah first time using pitch up no complaints so far look at the weather weather's banging mate so I'm gonna go for a walk down to the coast in a little while I'm gonna get some food on now because I'm absolutely starving so um... just heading out on a little walk um, pitched up lock the car and uh, I'm going to try and get down to the coast now while I can't use my drone footage I'm still going to use my phone um, seems like a bit of a missed opportunity if I don't film something uh, we'll see what kind of video I can get out of this might be nothing might be something I'll try my best but I know at the bottom of this road there's a massive like mud mud pit so it's gonna be a pain in the knackers trying to get through that but yeah, I don't even know how long it is. I don't even know how long it is down to the coast. I think it's like maybe, maybe like 20 minute walk, 15, 20 minutes, I hope. I've uh, been known to be wrong in the past though, so let's uh, see how far this beach is. I can see the coast right there but there is literally very literally no path towards it so I'm having to walk parallel to the coast and I'm gonna have to drop down at some point I just don't know how long don't know how far this road goes I'm walking parallel to the coast at the minute there's cars flying up and down this road 50 mile an hour 60 mile an hour um, Definitely gonna have to drop down to the coast in a minute. It's a lovely day though, couldn't have picked a better day to come out today, um, making the most of this weather window. Oh look, we're dropping down now. 
all downhill from here. I've left all my gubbins in car, haven't I? So all my waterproofs, my walking boots, it's all in car. So if it decides to lob it down now, I'm in trouble, aren't I? I've got to run back up this. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it stays like this. Yeah, oh, look, I'm seeing signs of life here. There's cars parked up and everything. Grass that's been cut. We're winning, we're winning. Nice little pub here, look. Might stop off for an ale. Aye, I'm definitely stopping off for one of those real hills. Country in the Briar Stones. Briar Stones? Did I say that right? The Briar Stones. Free house. Let's go for a pint. So as it turns out, I had to walk back to the campsite anyway. Uh, my phone was dying, so I had to go and get the battery pack out the dashboard in the car. Everybody loves a gusher. had one too many beers last night. Zero condensation again. I love this tent. Leave no trace. Slight change of plan. Uh, we're not going to hit Robin Hood's Bay and Whitby today. Uh, we've come further south towards Scarborough, uh, somewhere called Scalby Ness. Hopefully it's got some nice views for us. Um, I just didn't see the point in going north to come back south down to Filey, so I've just hit midway, you know. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's a random one. I had a few too many beers last night, woke up feeling crap, so yeah, we're down at Scalby Ness. And I've also bought a cable for the drone so let's go let's go get the drone up check this out right on the cliff edge let's do a little bit of the Cleveland way shall we Here's a, uh, here's a tip for you, when you walk in the countryside, don't walk with your mouth open because you end up swallowing flies, as I've just done, nearly choked on it, massive thing, and also nearly threw up in the process, fucking horrible mate, anyway, we're just walking up part of the Cleveland Trail, headed up to, and I'll get the drone up from here, see what, see what views we can get. 
It's an absolutely glorious day. It's beautiful. Just pulled up at Bempton Cliffs, and this is a an RSPB nature reserve. Um, gonna go and have a walk along the cliffs and see what there is to see. It's a little bit further down the coast, quite close to Flamborough Head. Um, let's check it out.
So not much to record to be fair, lots of gannets. Um, no puffins, I was hoping to see some puffins, but I've never seen one in my life. Um, I was hoping to see one or two, but sadly Mother Nature says no. So what can we do? We'll come back next time, we'll have a look. Um, yeah, I think it's time to head home. So we're nearly back at the gaff. Um, it's about another 10 minute drive from where we are currently. Um, I was going to end it where I said I was going to end it, but you know what? I feel like there's a couple of things I just need to address. So firstly, 28 mile an hour on a 70 mile an hour road is just not the one. All the way down from the M1, it was like, uh, gridlock. I don't know what they were doing, roadworks, or maybe there was a crash. I don't know, but you know when you need the toilet and you just want to get off the motorway, find some services and just get yourself sorted? Well, that's been me all the way down to this point. And secondly, I just want to address the fact that I did get the landowner's permission to do the little barbecue with the sausages on before I cop for any grief I just want to make that clear I did before I bought the little barbecue and the sausages actually speak to the guy that I paid to pitch up and he said yeah absolutely fine mate no worries at all so I went and bought myself some locally sourced sausages and uh, set myself up a nice little barbecue now my advice has always been and will always be that if you're gonna do that always seek the landowners permission first and secondly if you're going out into the wild or the countryside if you're wild camping just don't do it you know get yourself a nice little stove system a jet boil or an OEX Takana or whatever but don't take those little um, barbecue sets because they're just no good they, they're really dangerous when you take them out in the wild um, you know they can cause wildfires and you've seen the extent of the wildfires we've had over the years so just don't do it don't risk it you know get yourself a stove set the only reason I did it is because I wanted to source some locally uh, locally produced sausages and you know I had no other way of cooking them so got the landowner's permission and uh, went ahead so yeah there we go anyway I'm gonna end it here not where I said I was gonna end it um, thanks for watching if you've got this far if you've not got this far your loss it's been a good video but you won't be watching this anyway so just talking to myself um yeah thanks for uh, thanks for coming for the ride give it a massive thumbs up like subscribe share do whatever you need to do to support the channel as always love <laughs>